Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we are doing a mountain challenge which means we cannot build on sea levels and we cannot use explosives. Now we've just finished the drought so all the water should be coming back but as you can see we're running pretty fine. Now in the last episode we built this food hub, we've got potatoes, we've got carrots and that's it actually we've got potatoes and carrots and we also started this bad boy now look at this this looks pretty cool doesn't it you got the two big monuments there you got the flame of progress here in sort of like a garden area and yeah that looks I, I think it looks absolutely amazing we've moved the district center or the distribution center down here and we've got this little drop off point here so we can supply ourselves with resources from here now we're slowly building up our resources so we've got a fair amount we haven't got an amazing amount but we've got we've got a fair amount so what are we going to do in this episode we are going to go over here and we are going to make our entertainment district now it may need to be a new district i'm not sure just yet but uh, actually i think it has to be a new district let's see yeah see this district pretty much stops here that's why we're not using this bit at the moment. Now this might change. We may have, we may be able to get over here somehow. Uh, maybe from here or something. I, I'm not sure, but it's not too much of a big deal. We've got a few potatoes. We don't need too many, and that should be fine. We also need to make a way to produce these potatoes or use these potatoes. So what does what does that take? That takes, I think, bakery. Nope. It takes a grill. Which is good because it doesn't take power. So that's not bad, actually. In fact, how big is a, um, a platform? Let's get rid of all of this. And let's do this. Hmm. It's decent size. I wish it was a little bit taller because then it could go up there and we could make a little grill up here because we wouldn't, we wouldn't need too many grills, maybe one even, maybe just even one. We could still put it here and we can delete these carrots here. So if we do something like this, we can put this here. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. I'm, I'm just going to put one grill. I'm just going to put one grill, but I want to see how much space I would need. That's not bad at all. So we can then... Now, I do hope that this fits. I do something like that. And that. And then get the grill on top. Lovely. Lovely. Jubbly. And then we just do that. Hopefully the pathing is okay. We can turn it into the potatoes. I think I need more. Oh no, I've got six unemployed here. Is it here though? Yep, yeah, six unemployed here. So let them build that. While they're building that, let's talk about i got some amazing comments and um i really appreciate all the comments you send all the feedback everything you guys have to say and it helps with the youtube algorithm so i'm i'm all up for that so there was a comment about using this space for food but as you see the district ends quite quickly so if we were to go down here we would have to make a new district to build food down there which is not a bad idea like I can see that happening, but I did want to try and reduce the amount of districts I make. There is one thing we could do here. Now, one thing that doesn't need um, maintenance and it doesn't need beavers and it can go to multiple districts is power. Now, we can line this up with um, windmills and then we can power pretty much the rest of this island. So that might be a plan. That actually might be the best plan to power our entertainment district. 
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so let's start getting this island prepared. So what are we going to do? We're going to put you there and we're going to make a bridge. We're going to make a nice, simple bridge going along. So hopefully we can cut down some of this. We can supply it with some um, water and food. And we can get some beavers here building and sorting everything out. So let's destroy all these trees first. Okay, with them trees now gone, we can now focus on what we need to do to start colonizing this area. So let's, the first thing we need is a district center, right? And I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna put a gate here. And then we can put a district center like so. Yeah, cool. So that's one thing. Then we need a drop off. Um, we won't need a distribution post because they will not be providing any sort of materials for us. Just happiness. Happiness as a material. But you take that on person, not in luggage. All right. So that, what would that give us? We don't need many beavers here at first because we just want to set this area up. So I'm going to need, I kind of want four only, but I guess we're going to go with six. I guess that's what we're going with, which means they need to be able to go upstairs. Okay, we can put it like that. We can do something like this and get that there. Now, hopefully they can build that. They just about can. And I'm also going to, so what we're going to need to put in here, we're going to need to put, let's sort this out. So I would say a hundred water and hundred food sounds good to me. So let's get some water and some food. What food have we got? A lot of bread. We've got tons and tons of bread. All right, this is done. Lovely. There's no one there to use it, but hey ho. I actually think I may need more beavers in this district. What are we looking at? 46, 46. Yeah, I think I need more. I think I need one more house. Which is crazy. I don't know if we're going to have the water supply for all of this. Uh, let's put one house there. Let's get you. Done. Okay, so we've got one house there. Excellent. They get in water. They should be getting food at some point. And these guys are going to provide them with planks. So they can actually get logs from here for now. In fact, let's do 50 planks and 50 logs for now. I will get them some storage so they don't have to worry about these kind of restraints. All right, let's do that. That should now be making them a bit more stable for when we get beavers to migrate over here. We've got the house going, which is lovely. We've got potatoes going. Amazing. So all we need to do now is wait a bit. Oh, I don't really want to take beavers from here though. We haven't got any unemployed. We haven't got any unemployed there either. Everyone has a critical job. <laughs> I actually, actually I can pause the, this one. I can pause that. They're not building much at the moment. So we've got four. We've got water, we've got food, we've got planks, okay. So let's send four over to here. Migrate, cool. So what do they need to do? First of all, you've got two people in the district center. That is fine for now. Um, let's get a 
lumberjack flag down here. In fact, we're going to stop. Okay, I didn't get the logs. Okay, cool. Okay, I don't really need the logs at the moment. We're going to get two lumberjack flags. And we are going to cut all these trees down. Like the nature loving people we are, or beavers. All right, so they've got that, they've got that. They should be reproducing as well. They've got food, they've got water. Cool, they just need to finish building this and cutting that down. Okay, so now this mountain is pretty much naked. We can start actually working on it. So I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Now let's take a look at our leisure resources or buildings, should I say. We've got temples, we've got carousels, mud baths, lidos, rooftop terraces, shrines, and campfires. Now, I'm thinking to make like a section for each one. But I don't know if I'm going to do temples. I don't know yet because we've got temple over here. And that may not be enough, but... Hmm, do we need another one? Maybe. We may do a temple shrine area. Maybe around the, the mountain won't be big enough. It'll have to be around here. The thing about the temple, it has to be grounded. So let's see. Yeah, it has to be ground only. So we have to use this area or the space down here. But the first thing I want to do is I want to make quite a big swimming pool sort of a mud bath spa area so what we're going to do so this down here is going to be our living area now i'm going to change this around a bit let's actually take that away i'm not using that i'm not using that i actually want to condense this so i want to put a underground storage underground warehouse right here they do need gears though so that means we need to come over here we need to check. They've got a decent amount of gears. Let's add another route. Let's add some gears down here. All right, with that done, they should be building that in no time. So what I want to do is this is going to be a small area of, um, of living. So we're going to have houses here. We're going to have some storage. And we'll mostly get rid of the wood storage eventually because we won't need it. We won't need it at the end. What is this doing here? Come on, guys. Let's just delete that. So I'm going to make a big swimming pool coming out here. It's going to stop here. And it's going to go along here. And it's going to go here. And it's going to take up maybe this area. <laughs> it's like an L shape. But it's going to be it's going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. So let's get the levees down and let's see the outline of this design all right so i actually want the outline to be like this now let's just get a path all the way around because they will start building let's do that go there and i can go there okay so we're gonna have mud baths in here we're gonna have lidos and all that jazz and it's all gonna be filled with water now how are we gonna get that water Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. We're either going to use a mechanical pump. This bad boy. But this only goes up to three, I believe. Yeah. Only goes up to three. So we'll need to make a stepping stone sort of thing. And start it from here. So actually, let's start planning that. But that's, oh, that's going to be a lot of power. And that's not always going to be um, powered because we're going to be mainly using uh, windmill power. In fact, I think it's only going to be windmill power that we're using. So the first one would have to go something like this, I think. I don't even know if this will reach. Um, I think that reaches. I think that reaches just fine. 
Okay, cool. And then we'll do one here by three. In fact, by four. And we'll do it like that and like that. It does take up a lot of um, a lot of space. And that is going to cost us so much power. This is already 2,800 power. 2,800 power. I'll just repeat that. <laughs> that is a lot of power. Because then the next one will be here. I've got to about it can go up to there, that'll be absolutely fine. And that will fill up that. Hmm. Maybe I should just do one. Like that. And that way we can do something like This, but it would need to have power to it. And I don't know where the power connectors are, to be honest with you. Like that? Nope. It would be like this. Yeah, I don't know where the power connectors are on these um, bad boys. Because I haven't used them for a very long time and I know they got changed. We sound like that, and we can delete this here. And delete this. That could also fill up our, our massive swimming pool. Let's get... I do actually... Do I want to increase the size of this um, or increase the height of this floor? So why it doesn't need too much water? To be fair, it doesn't really matter as long as it's getting water. It doesn't really matter. As long as I can power it, that's, that's the important part. Can I put a platform underneath it? No, I cannot. Okay, so it's going to be out here just so they can get round if they need to in fact I might I might make that a bridge because why not and there you go something like that and that can go there, and that can go there. Now I've got to think about how I'm going to get 2,100 horsepowers of power. <laughs> um, how am I going to get that much horsepower? Now, if we look at windmill, I would need pretty much two of these for one of these. I'm also extremely concerned about where the power is going to go. It doesn't actually say, does it? Hmm. Because I would love for it to go right here, but I don't know if that's a thing. Okay, give me two seconds. Let me work this out. Okay. <laughs> Well, power lines are a thing. Like, this actually took some time to do. And it's going to definitely take some time to build. Look at that craziness. It looks messy. <laughs> it looks absolutely messy. But it was the only way I could get them all free to connect in this small space. So the power line goes in on the side of the machine. Now, I couldn't do it up straight up because it wasn't enough space these um uh, steps take too much 
too much space. So I've had to do them each on their own and then bring it down to this part of the island and then we can combine them finally. Like so. And then once we combine them, ah, no, I need more, need more points. Once we combine them, we can take it wherever, take it underneath here and go to a power area that we're going to do over here. So yeah, that is going to take a lot of effort. <laughs> That's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. So let's, why do you not have anything to do? Can you not reach that? You cannot reach that, okay. There you go. Now can you reach it? No, you cannot reach it still. Okay, fine. I'll build another one. If that's what you want, I'll build another one there. Yep, they're building that. I've got two people in there. I've got beavers not doing anything. So that can pause. You can go in there. Cool. That can actually get deleted. That can get deleted. We've got our storage up and running. So that should pretty much store everything in this area. I mostly won't need this storage anymore. And that can be deleted. That can be deleted. There's someone there. We need to get rid of these last few trees here. But that shouldn't be too bad. So now let's take a look at how we're going to do this area. So I, like I said, I want it to be sort of like a, a Lido mud bath area with some rooftops for some sunbathing. So first, let's take a look at Lido's. How big is that going to be in there? That is going to be a relatively decent size. We could do it this way and then put some opposite each other and then again over here and we can get some mud baths down here I assume okay so let's try that let's get something like that I think it is let's get the lido in there we can put it here and we'll do that there. So I'm trying to remember how far it is. I think it was there. And then get another lighter. Uh, I could go a bit closer. All right, let's put a few of these in. And would you look at that? Just perfect. It fits absolutely perfectly. Let's do that. And then we can get some platforms in here, like so. And hopefully we can get some rooftop terraces in here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's actually put that right there. And then mud baths. This area is going to cost me so much power. <laughs> it's going to cost me so much much power it's a shame it's not one more block outwards am i gonna do it oh they've already built the bottom half oh they've already built the bottom half guys mm, i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it it's needed all right i done it i done it it's done no point thinking about it now it's done all right cool let's put that like that that also allows for that. And maybe we can change this bit about, not sure yet. We may even, we may even put like a barrier around on this lev on these levees. Let's see. So with that in mind, let's go like that. And then like that. So it's gonna be one uh, floor lower. And that is because it does take, um, it is a higher step. I don't know how to say it. My, I'm losing my words. Is that a higher level than the normal pathing? So we can do something like that. Mm, 
There we go. Look at that. Look at that. There's, good, there's not even going to be enough beavers to use all these facilities. That's how crazy it is. Now, got to think about how I'm going to power them. Now, I want to have power underneath. So if we go down. There we go. We go down here. We could actually power these ones like so. That would connect all of them. That's fine. And then do I want to connect the power of this one? Mm, I could do, I could do something like this. If we put this here, put this here, then we get uh, some platforms like so get that power there and then I wonder if I can put a power line straight underneath it hmm all right let's do that let's do this and can I put power this is the big question <gasps> I can and that actually should go straight onto that. I just got to delete this. Why is that not getting deleted? Ah, because it's got pathing on it. Okay. So we do that. And we do that. So now that will give me the pathway I need. Um. Oh, one more done. <laughs> I got confused then. There we go. So that should give me everything I need to power them. Lovely. And we may have to use this power in other areas as well. Because a lot of things are going to need power in this, in this island, on this island. All right. So let's let them kind of get on with that. Oh. Okay, since this is going to take a minimum of 10 years to do, this is, this is taking long. <laughs> this is taking long. I do not have much time left, so we're going to have to finish this in the next episode. This will be done before the next episode, and we can start focusing on the next section of the Entertainment District. But before I go, let's just take a look how we're going to deal with this power round here. So if we have these, right, we can pull it. They can go two spaces apart. Now, if I was to... Mm, is that a thing? Now, should I do it horizontally? Because this is this looks like this is a lot of power. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 times 4, that's 44. And then times by 100, that's 4,400 power. And that's still not going to be enough. <laughs> that's still not going to be enough. Um, I'm actually going to make it rows of 10. So how do we want to do this? If we have the power back here, going like that, and we have this going like this, all the way across, all right? And then we can just do that and that. So that should be that line done. Then where do we put the next one? We can actually put the next one here. Like so. Put that like that. This is actually going to take forever to build. <laughs> this is such a massive product we're, project we're doing. And then like that. And I think 
That's one row. One more row should actually be enough. I think this row should actually be enough. Um, let's put this here. Like so. And done. And all we need to do is bring that out somewhere over there. Now, I could make one more row so that it ends up down here and we could bring the line down here, off here, under here, and up here. That could be a thing. But at least we're getting that done. We could actually just fill up the whole thing. I don't think I'll be using this space for anything, to be honest with you. We may do that. We may do that. But anyways, guys, unfortunately, this is all I have time for today. I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.